Hello everyone, welcome to Old School Chemistry. Today we're going to do a topic from Alex, the platform Alex. The particular question is interpreting condensed chemical structures. Just a quick review for you on condensed structures. Condensed structures are these Lewis dot structures that we write in, a, in an abbreviated form simply honestly to save space, to save time and space when we're writing them. Here's the um, like quick, dirty way to look at it. It's the hydrogen. Most hydrogens, we don't show the bond between the atom. We just write the hydrogen right next to the atom that it's attached to. Now there's one really big, big exception to this is aldehydes. Uh, for aldehydes, we do show the bond between the carbon and the hydrogen, and I'll do one of those for you. So let's look at this problem. Uh, so it gives us this condensed structure right here, and then there's a table that you have to fill in. Be careful on this Alex topic, they will change these, okay? They'll change these, so you need to read every single one of those. In this uh, particular problem, it says, what's the number of carbon-carbon single bonds? So I look up here, that's easy, I have one, two carbon-carbon single bonds. So right here, I would put, type in the number two. Next. Okay, this is where you're thinking. It says the number of carbon-hydrogen single bonds. Okay, this is written as a condensed structure. Those three hydrogens are actually all single bonded to the carbon. If I were to write this out, it would be carbon with the three hydrogens like this, then my carbon-carbon bond, double bonded to oxygen, oops, and then a single bond to carbon, that CH3, another three bonds to hydrogens single bond to one, single bond to two, single bond to three hydrogens. So counting this, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six total carbon-hydrogen bonds. Very good. Okay, lastly, lone pairs. Another time save, super small time save. We don't write the lone pairs. They're understood to be there. You just have to know how many lone pairs there are. I look at oxygen, yes. There are two lone pairs on oxygen. Remember, oxygen has six valence electrons. It's going to share two of its valence electrons right here, which leaves four electrons, one, two, three, four, which is two lone pairs. The last question right here, it wants us to give the number of lone pairs, so I put a two right there. Let me show you an example of an aldehyde. Uh, let's say that we had a CH3 C double bonded oxygen. Okay, now be careful on this. For aldehydes, I wrote this over here. You know the form. It is R any chain of carbons. Okay, it could be one carbon or a thousand carbons. Your last carbon on that carbon chain has a double bonded oxygen and a hydrogen. That's our aldehyde. Here's our smallest aldehyde, formaldehyde. Uh, and here's how you'd write it. Carbon double bonded oxygen, and you'd have to show the bonds to the hydrogen. Uh, let's take this one. I have my R group would be one carbon, and then here's the last carbon in that chain, double bonded oxygen, and it has a hydrogen. Here's what we don't do. I don't write the hydrogen like this. This is the exception where I have to show the bond. We are going to do a bond to that hydrogen right there. So aldehydes, the very last carbon, if it has that double bonded oxygen, you do draw a single bond to that hydrogen. Nice. I think we should do one more together, let's do one more. So we're going to hit explanations, we can get a new one, more practice, and okay, see what we have here. So it wants to know carbon-carbon bonds, we've got one, oh, only one, because notice that carbon is bonded to oxygen and that carbon is also bonded to oxygen there. So we only have one carbon-carbon bond, I put a one right there. In fact, let me type that in for us. So we're going to put a one. Let me scroll. Now it wants to know carbon hydrogen bonds. Okay, so my carbon hydrogen. I'm not going to write it out. Let's count it together. I'm going to have three carbon hydrogen bonds here, three carbon hydrogen bonds there, which is going to give me a total of six. Okay. And then lastly, it wants to know how many lone pairs we have. So we've got two on the oxygen two on the oxygen, a total of four. So four lone pairs. Now let's just talk out, in case you're wondering, the other bonds that we have. I do have one carbon oxygen. So I'm going to, actually two, so sorry, one, two. 
where you do have two carbon oxygen, but they didn't ask for that. They could have, and sometimes they do. But in this question, they didn't ask for the carbon oxygen bonds. They could also ask for a carbon double bonded oxygen. Carbon double bonded oxygen, you can see we've only got one. We've got one of those, okay? Outstanding. So proud of your hard work. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. See you next time.